time to waste, no time to waste. Let's just get it. you guys it has been a while man the weather has been bad and my phone broke and I just haven't been able to get out there but you know what I'm here right now we're gonna go do some flounder gigging right what is South Texas and pretty much all of the Gulf Coast and even parts of the East Coast known for flounder gigging right so I'm gonna show you real quick what we need It's super awesome easy you need a spear of some sort okay a light that can go underwater all right here I rigged it up to this is just a dive light I rigged it up to this net um, that way it has a handle and I can stick it underwater and if you turn it on underwater there's no glare so that's cool you can just walk around it with it but you don't have to do that people use headlamps people use lamps from above and lastly safety first so I took a shower before this to reduce my scent and uh, yeah I just gotta you know they're bloodthirsty you know it's, Whew. Gotta get it all over. I recommend using a shirt that you don't care about that much because it is gonna get smelly. It's gonna smell like this all over, okay? All over, because they they bite through clothes. Man, those mozzies. <sighs> Alright, you guys, ready to go. I'll see you there. Alright, here we are, you guys. Get in the water. Don't forget about shin deep. Water time. I have a good feeling about this, you guys. Let's try to get a few. Let's try to get two, you guys. That'd be awesome. That's a, that's a black drum. Gee, that's a black drum, you guys. It might be too far for me to, to get. But they are legal. Oh, I got it. black drum that is sick you guys Woo! all right awesome <laughs> okay no skunk yeah that is sick you guys that is awesome first catch black drum 20 inches probably nice Okay, 
It's a blue crab right over here. It looks just about big enough, so let's go ahead and grab him. There we are. Okay. Well, it's a female. It looks just about big enough. But thanks to my friend, we can check. There we are. Okay. Definitely over five and a half inches. Well, it took a while, but finally found ourselves a Unfortunately, we gotta wait for the dust to settle. There he is. Oh, he's moving. Oh! No! No! I missed it! Oh! oh. I got panicked because he started moving. Dang it. This is tough, you guys. Well, I did finally find one, so I guess that means I gotta stay a little longer. Ah, shucks. That was a rough loss, you guys. Rough. Been out here for a while already, and uh, unfortunately, that was the only legal one I've seen so far. Well, maybe I'm getting warmer. Now here's something you don't see often. Blue crabs mating. That's a big male blue crab in the back. And a smaller female that hasn't molted yet in the front. The male is going to carry her around until she molts. And then they mate. Alright, my flounder senses are tingling again. Alright, actually this water's kind of shallow. But, uh... Ah, oh, man. I haven't given up yet. Keep on looking. You never know. There might be one just around the corner. Ah. Well, I have been at this for like a few hours now and I still haven't found another flounder. And except for this one, I see this right here. I just wanted to show you real quick what a flounder looks like. I obviously can't get this one, it's only about the size of my foot or not even smaller. Um, but it is fun to look at. Isn't that cool? This is a flounder bed. That's the tail part. That's where a flounder has used to be. Maybe it's still here. Let's keep our eyes open, you guys. Here we go, here we go, you guys. No time to waste, no time to waste. Let's just get it. Ah, there we go. First flounder of the night. This could be the one. Jeez, you guys. It took forever. Look at those spots. Look at those spots. Oh my god, no time to waste. Wish it could have been more cinematic, but... I just did not have a good night. I'm searching for flounders tonight, but... There you go, you guys. We have gigged ourselves.
right, you guys. We are flounder gigging. We are officially flounder gigging, not black drum gigging. We have officially gigged ourselves. What do you guys think? Sick? I think this is sick. Flounder down. Yes. Okay, I want to show you this real quick. Over here we have a different type of bed. If you look at this one, Kind of like kite shaped, right? Well, there are sting right here, so that is something that we should watch out for. The head is that part. You see the deep depressions where the gills have been breathing, um, and this is the tail end. Oh, yeah, this is a pretty medium sized one. They get huge, huge out here, way bigger, like five, six times bigger. But I uh, have not seen one yet, and generally they're pretty easy to spot if you have the eye for it, of course, so not too bad. Oh, here's another one. So yeah, stingray beds. There are stingrays around here, so watch your feet. Okay. Bird tracks. There's a bird here called the spoonbill. And uh, occasionally you'll see them during the daytime. They look a lot like flamingo. All right, let's keep looking. There's another one right here. Hopefully I can get it before it scares away. You guys see it? Pretty cool, huh? Nice. Alright, let's take you guys underwater with me. Yes! Yes! Oh, thank you, man. Second flounder of the night. Oh, you guys, perseverance pays off. Second flounder. If I didn't miss the first one, it'd be my third. But I'm, I'm pretty happy with this, you guys. Two flounders is a solid night. For real. For real, you guys. That is sick. Well, I'm ready to call it a night. Just gotta walk back now. Nice, you guys. Look at that. Woo! Uh, Alright, you guys. I'm just uh, heading back now. And uh, even while you're walking back, you know, you might as well keep looking because you never know. I mean, I've seen a couple of black drum already. That they're just out of reach. So you never know, I might, might come across an easy one. <sighs> All right. Man, that was fun, you guys. Dang, that was fun. All right, sorry I didn't show you guys, but I literally just, I'm just walking back and I just this just caught this out of the corner of my eye. Whoa! Big guy. Woo! Another black drum. They're out tonight, you guys. I saw a bunch tonight. <laughs> Woo! Look at that monster. Nice. Stone shot. Perfect.
mean, this is what I'm trying to avoid. Freaking mosquitoes. At least they waited until I finished before they started biting. By the way, I suck blood. Well, guys, I never expected to end up with some such nice specimens as this. Okay, well, I did hope for a couple, but uh, yeah, I didn't expect it to be that good at the end. You know, I almost didn't go back there, all the way back there. It's I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's getting light out, and I spent way too long, longer than I've ever had floundering. But I did it for you guys, you know. Um, the thought of having to go out again and get to try to try again just made me not want to go back. But look at this big old flounder, you guys. That is a nice one. Not a doormat, but he's probably 18 or 19 inches. Sick, you guys. I mean, it's kind of a blessing in disguise, right? Saiwon Suma. Um, that I didn't catch the first one because if I did, I probably would have called it because I already had one, you know. But instead, I persevered. I uh, stuck to the very end. I went all the way as far as I can go, as far as, as that I ever want to go. And man, I was rewarded. Two flounders hiding in the back. And I even picked up, picked myself up a couple black drums. Not one, a couple, you know. Yeah, it's right over here. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna enjoy these, you guys. Thanks for watching. Um, I'm happy I can get this rolling again, and I'm so lucky that this all worked out. So, moral of the story, um, if it's anything that you can achieve just by waiting, just if patience is all you need, then by all means, like, do your best to stick through it because, um, Patience, it's just, it will pay off, you guys. If it's something that requires effort, like studying, no, you can't just wait and sit around. You have to do that. But, I mean, if it's something like fishing or whatever else, you can figure it out. That just involves waiting, you know, to the right moment. I don't know, probably investing is a good one, right? Patience is the most important thing. Just wait it out, and you'll get it. So, uh, till next time, you guys. Ooh. Well, the fire starts to burn, right? And it starts to spread. She gonna bring an attitude home. You don't wanna do nothing for life. When the fire starts to burn, right? And it starts to spread. She gonna bring an attitude home. You don't wanna do nothing for life. When the fire starts to burn, right? Having Thanksgiving in here.